So NYU Stern has a really thriving fintech community with a lot of participants and stakeholders. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce one of the leaders in our, our MBA fintech community, who's here on your screen. His name is Javan Ranith, and he's here to tell us a little bit about one of the organizations that he leads uh, in the MBA world, which is the Fintech Association. So I'm going to hand it over to you for a quick uh, review of what that organization is all about. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for the in insightful conversation. So I'm here representing the FinTech organization, FinTech Association of NYU Stern, just to talk a little bit about what we do and uh, what we are about. So let me share my screen. So the mission of FTA or FinTech Association at Stern is to provide all the students with necessary equipments that they have in order to thrive in the FinTech sector. As all of you know, the fintech sector is thriving, which is why, uh, you know, uh, we had a lot of insightful conversations around this topic since morning. And we as an organization, which is a central part to the MBA school, want to make sure that all the students within our community has all the necessary resources, which is uh, required for them to excel in this industry. And uh, sort of the vision that we laid out for FTA a couple of years back is to act as a central agent, not just uh, and, and not just as a standalone club. So we have uh, several different clubs, for example, MCA, GFA, SDA, which are the uh, Graduate Finance Association, uh, Technology Association, Analytics Club, etc., uh, which just like the FinTech Association. So what we have done is we have created an ecosystem uh, by collaborating with all the other clubs and FTA as of today, act as a central collecting uh, agent between all of those clubs and we have intersections with them and, and we organize multiple case competitions, analytical case studies and recruitment boot camps, et cetera. So uh, if, you are, if someone is interested in going into startup, uh, startup or VC or PE or financial inclusion, uh, financial institutions or investment banking, for example, uh, for someone like me who is going to financial institutions group, uh, we collaborate with every single other club within Stern and we have created a collaborative community wherein uh, uh, wherein FTA is acting as the central point of contact for anyone who is really, uh, who is who's interested in the industry. Uh, so we uh, uh, we have a chartered plan layout uh, in terms of the events that we are organizing. Uh, so we uh, on every single year, this is this is a list of events that we have planned out for the next year. Uh, so we have three fire chats, uh, fireside chats uh, coming up. We have skill development boot camps uh, and workshops, and uh, you know um, we connect with the companies around New York, fintech companies around New York. We create immersive programs. We have treks. Uh, in which we take the students around to the PEVC firms and let them interact with the leaders over there and learn first-hand experience of how they built the businesses and uh, and be motivated by that. We also facilitate networking events. We uh, reach out to companies and organize networking events and where students who are interested in the sector can come together and learn more about it. So just like we have the conference here today, we had um, an offline event which is held at Stern a couple of weeks back in which students got an opportunity to interact with um, uh, the industry leaders one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, this is some of the events which we had uh, in the past semester. So, for example, we got John Elton, who is from Greycroft Partners, which is one of the leading um, um, uh, players in the industry. And we got him to the campus and he had a, uh, he had a one hour long conversation with the students on um, uh, how, what do they, what do venture capitalists look for when they're trying to invest and what are some of the ideologies that uh, he is, his investment thesis revolves around. Uh, likewise, we also had uh, uh, had a check which we organized to the Barclays Rice uh, Incubator in which students go to interact with the fintech founders themselves. And uh, it was a day long trek. Um, so uh, we have tried to create, so rather than teaching students, um, you know, rather than um, learning from the classrooms in terms of how you can contribute to the fintech industry, what we are trying to do in FDA is to create an immersive experience uh, in which uh, everyone can understand or, or, or contribute or um, 
or reach out to the industry players in and around New York City, right? Uh, New York City is one of the best driving places that you can be if you are interested in the fintech uh, sector. And what we're trying to do is just to act as a bridge between the classrooms and the industry experts within the industry. And uh, in addition to that, we are also working with the Stern administration to collaborate or to facilitate all the courses courses that uh, are, are oriented towards um, um, providing the requisite knowledge for the students. And one of the examples, prime examples in the FinTech experiential learning curriculum, which uh, Professor D. Rose is heading. Uh, so in this course, we are collaborating with SIPCO, which is a um, which is a BNPL platform and students are working, collaborating th with them on different projects and uh, developing innovative solutions, uh, which can help them transform the way in, in which um, their current operating business of business is currently operating. And uh, that was a brief introduction of FinTech Association at Stern. And with that, I would like to pass the mic on to uh, our closing keynote speaker for today. What a great closing set of comments. Um, thank you so much. And uh, it's hard to believe that this day has come to its close, but we learned so much today about the brave new world. And we hope that the special mix we offer combining the latest academic thinking and the latest expert and practitioner sessions help you help made you better informed and both excited and somewhat cautioned about the implications for big AI for financial services and fintech. I want to extend a very hearty thank you to all of our speakers and panelists. And of course, a huge shout out to Liz Chen, the Fubon Center's assistant director, without whom this event would certainly not be possible. On behalf of the university and the Fubon Center, thank you all for joining us today. You're now part of a lively and growing fintech ecosystem at Stern. Please follow us on Instagram to stay in touch and to hear about more upcoming events. And of course, good luck in your fintech future. <laughs>